share with you how I do my batch cooking or my uh, weekly meal prep because it really helps me save time in the kitchen and it allows me to have a plan each week of um, what I'm gonna eat and what I'm going to feed my family so that I can stay on track with my uh, weight loss goals. And sometimes I consult with my husband, but he's not really picky and my kids are young, so they just eat what I make them. Um, plus I have a baby, so he doesn't eat any of this yet. But you can see I'm making um, chili beans, I'm gonna do grilled shrimp, I'm gonna roast some vegetables, and I'm gonna have egg whites and oatmeal, which I usually always have for, um, for breakfast. All the recipes that I'm gonna be um, using today are all on my like page. If you go to Strong and Sexy with Alex, it's in my notes section under Batch Cooking Sundays. So you can find everything there. Um, it doesn't have the calorie breakdown, but it does have the serving size but I will be adding the calorie and the macronutrient breakdowns um, hopefully sometime this week so you can see that too. So once I've chosen the meals that I'm going to make for the week, I make a shopping list just like everybody else, make a grocery shopping list and I go shopping. And here's what I buy, um, or actually here's what I bought for this here's week. my ingredients for my chili beans. I buy um, lean ground beef. Sometimes I do turkey but my husband prefers the beef so I do that. Uh, kidney beans, bell peppers, um, chicken broth, that kind of good stuff. And then for my shrimp dish, there's my grilled shrimp, there's my green beans, my potatoes, and my mushrooms. And everything else, my avocados goes with my breakfast, my apples are for my oatmeal. Um, all of the other veggies that you see are actually for my green smoothies that I make every day to have after I work out. And the tomatoes, I like to make a pico de gallo or salsa every Next week. Next thing I do is I take out all of my cooking utensils. So my measuring cups, my strainer, my food scale for my, um, to, to measure my proteins, and then my little vegetable chopper and my pots and pans. Okay, here's my oatmeal. Got my oatmeal cooking, cinnamon, apples, um, that's it. I'm washing my veggies. Uh, once I wash and separate them, I just store them in a plastic bag. I use them for my green smoothies made by my Vitamix. And then I also use them for my liquid egg whites. So that is one of my go-to meals all the time is um, egg whites with spinach and kale. Here I have all my veggies washed and separated for my green smoothies. I have kale, spinach, I know it's kind of hard to tell with the bags, um, red chard, celery, and cucumber. You'll notice that there are no fruits and that's because the only fruit that I eat uh, or that I have been eating lately is about two or three bananas per week, um, small ones, and two apples with my oatmeal. Okay, my breakfasts are done. So I have my egg whites with kale and spinach and my oatmeal with apples and cinnamon. And it's enough for six days. Okay, here I'm working on my dinner. This is gonna be my um, clean, lean chili beans. And I'm also grilling um, my shrimp for my lunches. While these two things are going, um, I have my veggies for my lunch roasting in the oven. So right now I currently have uh, potatoes, green beans, and mushrooms uh, baking at 375. Here's what the roasted veggies look like after. Um, I cooked the red potatoes uh, for about 45 or 40 minutes at 375 um, the green beans for 30 minutes and the mushrooms for 20 minutes and then I just mix them all up and I'm weighing my shrimp and I'm gonna do um, four ounce servings and then I'm putting them in little baggies for six days I normally like to have um, five or six ounces of protein per 
um, per meal, but I only bought two bags and it was 24 ounces, so I'm just gonna make do with what I have. Here is the stuff for my lunch, my grilled shrimp. Uh, remember I portioned out four ounce servings, and then I have my big bag of roasted veggies, uh, which I will portion out each day. I do about one, uh, one cup to one and a half cups um, per meal. And then here's our dinner for the week. It's a uh, clean, lean chili beans, I call it. And it's made with um, lean ground beef, the 93% lean, 7% fat. This should last us um, four to five days, and us, meaning myself and my husband, my our toddler does not eat this. Um, and I usually eat about one to one and a half cups at a time. And I want These are my snacks for the week. I eat one whole hard boiled egg each day. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, rice cakes with PB2 instead of regular peanut butter because it has 85% um, less calories and fat than regular peanut butter. Um, I prefer regular peanut butter, but I have a really hard time um, with portion control with that. So I also have almonds. I'm, I have about 20 almonds a day, so I split the little packs in two. Uh, if I'm in need of some chocolate, I'll have uh, some dark chocolate, roasted almonds and I have these dark chocolate squares that I found that have um, I don't know if you guys can see that but in four squares there's only five grams of sugar and it's 200 I think 240 calories can't really see that it's kind of blurry um, I'll usually just have one or two of those a day. The oven roasted almonds, I don't eat those every day, they're just occasionally. And if I'm really in need of something sweet or chocolatey, I will have one of these. And this is, um, 180 calories per pack and 7 grams of sugar. So it's a little bit on the higher side, but again, like I said, in an emergency, if I'm really fiending for the chocolate, then I'll go for this. Um, can you tell I really like chocolate? And then I also do um, a Shakeology every day to get my vitamins and my protein and my probiotics and all that good stuff. And then once in a while I will add um, one of these guys, but I try not to have these too often because they have um, artificial sweeteners, which I try to stay away from. I also really like these drops. Um, because I've dealt with a uh, sugar addiction in the past, I like sweet food, I just prefer to eat sweets over um, anything salty. So I found these um, Stevia Drops, they have all kinds of different flavors. This is just one of the ones that I have. And also um, Monk Fruit Extract Drops. I found this at Walmart, this at Sprouts, but I'm sure you can find it at any health food store. Um, you can mix them in your smoothies, you can mix them with your yogurt, you can mix them with your coffee. Um, you can also, I think you can use them for baking, but you may want to get the powdered form for baking instead. Alright, so let's move on. So that's basically it guys. I hope that you found this helpful and I hope that um, I've inspired you to do some batch cooking on your own. And don't forget to find me on Facebook. It's Strong and Sexy with Alex. Bye.